Are you completely new to the strength training or are you a person who is looking to refine your skills but feeling confused and overwhelmed with the, all the information out there? Don't worry. This in this video is going to clear your confusion. So in this 10 minutes video, we will dive a little deeper in the beginner's guide of the strength training where I will be sharing 10 important factors which are going to help you out to kickstart your fitness journey in a safe and effective way and uh, will keep you injury free and uh, long lasting in this journey without failing. Hi, this is Sanjeev Kaliwala. I am a founder of Natural Lifestyle Hub and on a mission to help 100,000 working professionals to achieve their good health, to achieve their fitness and to achieve their longevity by using all natural techniques. So without wasting our time, let's start the video. Clearly explained, let me share the screen. These are the 10 important factors of our beginner strength training guide where I will be decoding each and every fact which are going to help you to keep your journey injury free and safe. So in this first factor, the most important factor is to be clear with your why. So how you can be clear with your why? So as per this factor, you must be clear actually why you are going to start this fitness journey. You must be aware of your current condition. You must be knowing where you want to reach in this journey. So, so to, to make this factor effective, so you must be setting a realistic goal which are appropriate for you, which can be, which are achievable or which I can say like smart goals. So again, further, you can divide your goals into three categories, micro, macro and meso according to your target. Suppose you want to lose 9 kgs in three months. This three months will be your meso goal, final output of your goal. Further, you can divide this uh, 90 days into three macro goals, which are 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. And the 30 days further can be divided into four micro goals, which are seven days, seven days, seven days, four weeks. So like this, you can divide your goal into micro or macro or meso and uh, you can achieve that and you can keep on check where you are going on this journey. And and always to make this journey successful, first you have to start with a strong mindset, with strong intention because intention is everything. If you are clear on your intention, the half work will be done. So first clear with your intention, strong mind, make your mindset strong and uh, always remind your mind that you are going to achieve this goal at any cost. And the final process in this factor is proper planning how you are going to achieve your goal. And second factor you have to focus is on proper form. So without hurrying in loading the weight or run behind your weight loss or achieve your goal, first focus on your form and technique. So why it's very important? Because proper form will help you to make this journey injury and fail proof and uh, it will also maximize your results. So if you are start, if you start getting results automatically, you will be get motivated and you will be keep going in this journey without uh, second thought. Third important factor you have to focus is on mastering your basics. So in this I got like uh, five functional moments. If anybody don't know, like a human body will be have, having five functional moments. One will be bending and lifting. One will be like uh, once one leg for moment, which means we when we are walking. One will be pushing, one will be pulling and one will be rotational. So before going to load your body with uh, extra weight or external weight, I would rather suggest you to master these five skills. First, go for a small assessment. Check out this whether your body is performing these five moments in an appropriate way without any unnecessary muscle involvement or without putting any unnecessary pressure on your joints. So once you are master with these five basic uh, movements of a human body, you can load your body with external weights, which will be safe and effective. Fourth important factor you need to focus, and this factor is core engagement. So for most of the people, core 
muscles means only abdominal muscles and they will be thinking like uh, if you are a six pack you are you have a strong core so it doesn't work like that guys core muscles are the those muscles which supports your lumbar your lower back lumbar spine to perform the daily activities in a safe and uh, injury proof way so the, the core muscle includes your external abdominal muscles your internal abdominal muscles your obliques your uh, erector spinae and uh, your back muscles totally and you even your glutes so combinedly this combining this all muscles make will make a core this is called a core so working on your core uh, learning how to engage your uh, core muscles activating your core muscles before loading an external load on your body will always help you to stay injury proof and make your fitness journey effective and long lasting so fifth important factor you need to focus is on breathing technique probably will there are two kinds of breathing in excel and in health so you must be knowing when to excel and when to inhale so here i can share a small tip where you can excel and where you have to inhale this is also important uh, factor here because uh, when you are lifting weight when you are putting some external load on your body there there will be a pressure formed in your abdomen so our body will not sustain the pressure and it has to release so if you hold the breath and uh, lift the weight forcefully there are high chances of uh, getting other complications by this activity like hernia and uh, hemorrhoids etc etc so to avoid this you, should, you must be knowing proper excel and in inhale technique so when you have to excel guys whenever you are loading weight on your body suppose you are lifting the weight you suppose you are doing bicep curl so when you are lifting the weight up and loading the weight on your body you have to excel and when you are leaving down inhale or simple tip when the weight is going against gravity you have to excel when you with the weight is going towards gravity you have to inhale this is this looks very simple when uh, you lift the weight because uh, if you are doing bicep curl obviously when you are lifting weight it's uh, going against gravity we have to excel and we, when it is going towards gravity you have to inhale but inhale but when you are using machines confusion arises there so if you are doing a lat pull down machine instead of monitoring the moment you have to monitor the weights of the machine so if you are doing a lat pull down when you are pulling the machine obviously the weights in the machine will be going up against the gravity so that is the time when you have to excel and when you are leaving it you have to inhale so this one thing you can keep in mind which will make your excel inhale moment easy so the sixth important factor let me share the sixth important factor factor is like uh, focusing on your range of motion so most of the people if you see in the gym who are beginners or even you people who have already experienced but they will be not focusing on the range of motion they will their focus will be completely on loading the heavy and heavy weights heavy external weights so instead of that focusing on your uh, range of motion engaging your muscles during the activity will definitely help you out to get maximum results in a shorter time period so always focus on a proper range of motion try to give a complete range of motion but keep keeping the muscles engaged with and avoiding any other unnecessary muscles engagement in your activity suppose you if you are doing bicep curl try to engage only biceps instead of uh, allowing your shoulders or triceps to come in picture so one important factor you need to focus is is little bit advanced kind of thing but if you put the foundation in from the start it is going to help you out in the future also and this factor is focusing on the periodization so in this periodization was what people do actually let me share so most of the people in the in, in the gym facility or anywhere if you see they will be uh, running behind uh, weights and they will be copying some other people or they want to compare themselves with other people which leads to ego lifting so ego lifting is not at all good guys it may lead to so many complications and it may lead to unnecessary injuries in your fitness and uh, which directly related to dropping out from your fitness journey so instead of focusing instead of doing ego lifting try to do progressive over overloading means like uh, loading the external loads with minimum quantity once you achieve the 
required the number and manipulating the load and the tempo means uh, as per the load you can speed up the repetition or you can slow down the repetition and even manipulating the load with the volume like uh, you can increase or decrease the repetition as per your external load so always try to focus on your periodization which will help you to achieve your goals in a safe and effective way which will also keeps you away from injuries and which will help to make your training effective so this was the seventh important factor you need to focus let me share the eight important factor that is rest and recovery so in this what i got for you it's uh, so if you observe most of the people who start their uh, training they will be eager to hit the gym on daily wise even they will hit the gym on the weekends also even sundays too so instead of hitting the gym continuously whole week or whole month without giving proper rest try to learn the rest and recovery techniques because if you are a beginner even if you have experience in this uh, field you need a proper rest time to recover your muscle from the torture which has given in the training time so how much should be the rest guys it completely depends on your intensity of the training but anywhere between 48 to 72 hours of rest for the trained muscles is required is suggestible by the studies to recover the muscle from the torture and even you have to give appropriate rest in between the sets so that your body can be recovered from the set and be ready to hit another set so manipulating with your resting time is very much important in your fitness journey if you are a beginner or even if you have some experience in this field so let me share the ninth important factor you need to focus is listening to your body so if you are a beginner if you, if you just started the training if won't you cannot it won't be like any other person who has already experienced in training because their body adopted the training as per their experience and the reaction of the body will be completely different compared to a beginner so if you are a beginner always try to listen to your body don't force yourself to perform the training whenever you feel fatigue or whenever you feel soreness your muscles give appropriate rest time to recover from the activity from the training so that you can be ready for the next session and so that you can be safe in this training and your training can be effective so let me share the 10th uh, factor which we will need to focus is like always I say seeking a proper guidance. So despite of all the factor, how much factors I share, how much uh, knowledge you get from the internet or YouTube, you need a proper mentor to show the direction. Because my mentor Sita said people can get information from anywhere anywhere from internet youtube everywhere the world is surrounded by the information but people lack proper direction so to put you in a proper direction to make your fitness journey safe and effective to to help you in achieving your goals you need a proper mentor to guide you who has the appropriate knowledge who has the appropriate experience whose intention is keeping you safe instead of just pushing you towards your goals and forcing you to do the activity so that your journey can be safe and effective and keep you moving without thinking the other thought of dropping from your fitness activity so for recap let me share the screen first thing you need to be clear on your why Second thing, focus on your proper form and technique. Third thing, mastering the basics. So if you are mastering the basics, obviously your training will also be safe. Third, learn how to engage your core to keep yourself away from the injuries. Sorry. Fifth, breathing technique. You need to know when to exhale, when to inhale. Six, uh, Always try to perform the activity in full range of motion by proper muscle engagement. Seventh, learn how to periodize your training. Eighth, proper rest to recover prior to recover your muscles from the training. And uh, ninth, listening to your body. And tenth, 
obviously seeking the proper guidance so these were the 10 important factors you need to focus if you are starting a fitness journey or if you are a beginner or if you are a person who is trying to refine your skills hope this video cleared your confusion now you know how and where to start and how to make your fitness journey safe and pain free so if you feel if you felt this video informative please like and share with your friends who has the confusion and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos so guys see you in the next video till that time stay healthy stay fit stay natural bye